Hey, how you doing? How's everybody doing today? Uh, thanks for turning into Wicked Warnings, your number one source for custom emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for all kinds of things like vans, cars, buses, tricycles, bicycles. And my favorite today and favorite of this week would be this 2021 Dodge Ram TRX. If you don't know what TRX means, that means it's a 6.2 liter supercharged engine. Um, very, very cool little truck. Uh, definitely very interesting with all the different factory upgrades. We did a lot of stuff to this truck, so we'll get right to it. What are you looking at in the front? Zoom in there a little bit. We have our M-Power, a combination of the 4-inch and the 3-inch, all running intercycle on their pattern. The upper ones behind the grill are 4-inch, dual color, amber white. The lower ones on the Addictive Desert Designs front bumper are amber only. They're all synchronized to do that nice little X pattern. We wanted a minimally invasive, invasive uh, install on this truck. He doesn't do snow plowing, obviously. He doesn't really do a whole lot of construction, highway work. Um, so p for this particular truck, it's on and off of his own job sites uh, and his deliveries. So usage is minimal. We didn't need an over-the-top package. We did go with the uh, nice front bumper upgrade. In there we have some LP6 lights in the center by Baja Designs and some squadron lights out on the corners, replacing the factory fog lights. Now, that's a hell of a lot of light in the front of that uh, bumper, I'll tell you that. We attached all this to our factory auxiliary switches, which, which the TRX come with. Very easy to get to right on the driver's side headlight area. The way to go Dodge, you gave us nice long wires, unlike the Super Duty, which has very short wires. So uh, it was very nice, easy install right to the factory switches. Worth noting, the TRX has eliminated the connector. You used to get a real big weather pack connector where you could disconnect your accessories from the auxiliary switch harness. That's no longer on this model. This 21 just had straight wire. Alrighty, now as much as I wanted to screw around with the taillights and headlights, I simply kind of ran out of time. And uh, on this build, we didn't really need it. We went with our Thin-X strip right on that rear bumper. That's another ADD bumper in the back. It's got another set of Baja squads in the uh, back there for auxiliary rear lighting. And our 15.5 strip went really nicely right on the top edge of the bumper. Uh, this particular TRX has an all plastic panel uh, underneath the tailgate. A little bit different than most trucks have a steel panel. We could have mounted the lights there if we wanted. If we wanted to tuck them up in there farther behind like the red light, we probably could have went with a little smaller light. I wanted to keep them bold and bright because these were the only two we were going with on the lower rear. So the thin X strip is an alternating amber white color and they are synchronized. Above that, we used our auto flasher kit, which will be coming soon to the website for the cargo light of the newer body Ram. Uh, we're exploring a lot of options, trying to get as many auto flasher kits out as we can. And uh, this was one of the first ones we did here with the factory white cargo light. Didn't interrupt any factory function. The light works just fine. And our auto flasher can make it strobe in a variety of patterns. That particular one is what I chose for this job. Here you see those bumper lights lit up. I don't need to tell you, extremely bright by Baja Designs. No question about that quality or uh, lumen. Now around the front, by request of the customer, we have a Cyclops eye on switch number one. That's a full spot pattern center light, which really just goes straight down there. And that's all independent on its own switch number one. And here we have the two outer lights on switch number two. Of course, you can illuminate all if you'd like. And as you see, you get all three lit up with switch one and two active. As I said earlier, the fog lights have been integrated to the factory harness, so they work with the factory switch as a factory fog light function. As you can see, they're hooked up and working perfectly. Now, the last thing about this truck that's kind of cool is inside, so I'm going to take you for a little walk here. We're going to go inside, and I'm going to show you what we did in here. I'll turn on the light for the camera, so hopefully you can see. Let's readjust the uh, screen there. Alrighty. And that light really washes everything out. I guess we don't really need it. So as you can see right here, I'm trying to get a good picture for you. We came out right under here with a nice, fun toy. We got our Wayland 100 watt PA system, you know, and this is where you can yell at anybody if you want, tell them get to work, uh, tell anything you want to anybody. And if I keep offering suggestions, I won't get myself in trouble. So uh, this is real nice, made by Wayland, real quality. We're gonna leave it here. You can tuck it right here in this pocket or you can put it right in here. Um, we're gonna let the owner kind of decide where he wants it. If he wants a magnet mount, we have those. If he wants to do anything like that, we have that as well. And then uh, of course, we had to hook it up to one of these switches. So here on switch number five, we've reprogrammed that switch to momentary. And you can hear there, 
we have the buzzer tone on switch number five. So that'll help him get his crew to work. There we go, a little better picture for you right here. That'll get his crew to work and everything and, uh, you know, just have all kinds of fun. Uh, this is, again, center Cyclops light, two outer lights. This will be the rear bumper. This will be all the strobe lights. This will be your PA system. And we left aux switch six for some future upgrade that we're not sure what it is yet. So here's a little closer look at that. How we ran the wiring right down and under here. We didn't want to drill any holes. We didn't want to even put a bracket on this truck until we were 100% sure like the owner wants it um, because, again, it's a TRX. So we're trying to keep it real, real discreet and no visible after after damage so i appreciate you viewing my video i appreciate you sticking with me this long if there's some info i missed that you really wanted to see drop a comment right away i'll try to remember what it was and post a reply um and uh, other than that if you need some immediate response go ahead and send an info email to info info at wickedwarnings.com and we'll get back to you via email just as soon as we can now because this truck was so involved we're going to put links up to the products but obviously i'm not shipping these giant bumpers they were from ad uh the baja lights are part of the bumper package it all kind of came together so as far as the surface mount lights that are on this truck and the WAF kit that's pretty much all it is so uh obviously not too many trx owners out there uh, but if you like this package you have a trx you have the same kind of bumpers you can do the same thing before I forget, yes, that's how we mounted <laughs> the light in the grill. It was actually tucked between the grill and the back surround there, and uh, a hole was drilled. Be very careful on this one because there's a washer reservoir behind that hole. So you cannot just drill through. I'll repeat that. Be very careful drilling this because there's a washer reservoir behind there. Okay, otherwise the other side is very easy to get to. But that's how we tuck those lights right behind the grill and they mount with self-adhesive uh, 3M VHB tape. So you use some primer promoter, mount them up in there, and uh, it's very good. Very easy, not too hard at all. One last note is you can see here on the bumper lights we added the 15 degree wedge to bring that down because the bumper was quite leaned back, pointing the light up at the ceiling. So we added the 15 degree wedge behind that sound off 3 inch light and that tipped it back down level and made the light much more effective. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're a TRX fan. And uh, if so, drop a comment. Let me know what's up. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Keep in mind, Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs, Dodge Ram TRXs, Shelby F-150s, F-150 Raptors, everything in between.